welcome to my channel. I'm very happy that you wanted to join me today. So let's start with the presentation of you. Okay, I'm uh, Mila, Mila Moreno. Uh, I'm from Mallorca and I'm 30 years old. And I have uh, four dogs. Uh, my first dog was Dash, she's a border collie and now it's about nine. Then we have Rue, uh, she's my first cattle and sheep dog and she's seven. And then we have Time, who is here, <laughs> and she is uh, three years old. And this is my puppy. She is four, four months now, and um, she can have it back. <laughs> These are my dogs. So you have Shetland sheep dogs mainly. So what is the backstory of the breed? Uh, Shetland sheep dog is a harding dog. It's a combination of uh, many breeds, uh, including the Border Collie, and it was. Um, located in Scotland, in the Shetland Island. And the main work of the Shelties was uh, moving the sheep around there because the place is really rocky and it was a bit rough for the border collies and they needed like a smaller breed just to move them. And are there any associated health problems with the breed? Yeah, there's uh, like the typical collie stuff, like the border collies and, you know, the herding uh, issues, mm -hmm. like the uh, M, the one, the M and so on. And then, of course, there's also a few issues like for small breeds, uh, like patella and um, elbows. Mm -hmm. So you need to check uh, a lot of things if you are looking for a shelter, like the health is very important. Uh, you must x-ray and ask for parents that are x-rayed mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. uh, hips elbows it's very important also to check the spine mm -hmm. which is not so much so common mm -hmm. but they are starting mm -hmm. to do it mm -hmm. and of course patella is also important and i would say like for me it's also important to check eyes like not only the genetic uh, but also the the examination that they do, like the official one is equal, mm -hmm. but there's many others that are also very useful. I would, this would be like the main thing that I would check for a Sheltie. Do they tend to live for a long time? Yeah, I would say Sheltie's, uh, if they are healthy and uh, everything goes fine, they could live for maybe 17, 16 years. So it's a long life. Is there something maybe that you would wish to see more breeders do? Yeah, I would I would really wish to see more tests everywhere. Mm -hmm. But um, x-rays, uh, people get lazy because they have to see the dogs. But, uh, you know, it's really important. So if I would really like to see more, you know, all the x-rays. And also, they tend to also forget the genetics. So everything I would say. Okay. <laughs> Why did you decide to get a Shetland sheepdog? Okay, it wasn't actually a real decision. I wanted to, I had the, my border collie dash, as I mentioned, and I wanted another one in a few years. I was uh, following my friend Eva from Azulian, and she was having the first litter. The first time I saw Dries, uh, I really felt in love with her, mm. but I wasn't planning to add a Sheltie in my life. Mm -hmm. But I really always loved breeding and all the stuff. So when they had the litter, I was just talking with her and she was sending me all the pictures of the puppies. And I was like, oh my God, this one is so cute. And it was almost all the night just texting with her. And then the last puppy, she sent me the picture and I was like, wow, yeah, she's yeah. my dog. Yeah. And she was like, yeah. no, but Mila, she's booked. So it wasn't meant to be for me on the beginning. And I was quite sad, uh, so I didn't want to visit the puppies because every time I visit the puppies, I was really sad because <laughs> I really wanted to. But she was booked for someone else. Mm -hmm. So when she ran me one day and told me that I could have room because the other people had canceled, I just got her and it was like meant to be. Compete or train in any dog sports? And what sport would you say suits the Shetland Sheepdog? Well, we compete in agility with uh, the girls and it's really, I would say it's the passion for time at least. Uh, she has a, a huge eager to work and a huge will to please. Rue also really love it mm -hmm. and I think it's needed for them to keep working. I have been also training with uh, Rue, um, Harding, 
uh, I tried to go at least once or twice a month. And she really loved to be, you know, the bossy thing who is moving the ship. Yeah. The Shetland Sheepdog is a breed that is already for everything that you can dream of. Mm -hmm. Like they really have a huge ego. They really like, you know, to do right, to be the one who is winning, bossing. You know, Ru really likes to be like the boss. Mm -hmm. And I think the Sheldies has a big character and a big personality. And they really like to compete mm -hmm. and work. Okay. Uh, how many hours per day would you say that they need to be activated? Or how many hours per day do you need to put on owning a Shetland Sheepdog? Okay, I want to start with this saying that they are quite active breed. They are really active. They like to go everywhere with you. They like to be with you. And they like active persons. So it's like if the people is looking for a quiet dog, a lazy dog, the, this not the breed because they are really active even different personalities in between uh i have both personalities ruiz tend to be more lazy and uh, our time could be more active for example fever of my sister she's crazy <laughs> they they need uh to be working but uh, i i can't tell you like uh hours because you can have lazy days with them They would uh, just lie on the sofa with you, but of course they need, after a lazy day, they need a very active day. They really like to go walking. They like to do whatever you do. Mm -hmm. They want to be, this is the main mm -hmm. thing for them. Yeah. So how would an average day look like for you? Okay, so we wake up and we go for a walk. Uh, we live next to a mountain, so we normally go there. After the walk, we have uh, breakfast. And they normally are uh, playing around in the garden because I'm normally watering the agility files and they are just running there. Um, maybe time can go to sleep back again. Uh, Ru <laughs> used to do that, but now with me, she feels like she needs to be like a mommy. Mm -hmm. So she's just uh, running with her into the agility place mm -hmm. and doing the tunnels and so on, but by themselves. They rest a bit and then we maybe go training or go for some walks. What would you say is the worst attribute of the breed? Uh, is there any downside? Yeah, they are very loud. The Sheldies honestly are quite loud. I would say my Sheldies are not really loud compared to another ones. But they, they, they are very easy to bark. Um, this would be like the worst thing. Sometimes... Uh, could be also that they could be a bit sensible, even that my dogs are not sensible. But if I think if you raise them on the wrong way, they could turn up being very sensible. I'd say like top priority should be health always. And then after that, the character should be there standing because a big character, it's like the most funny thing to have at home. Yeah. <laughs> Any maybe breed misconception? You know, in the... Everyday life, like this is a border collie, or is a mini collie, or this is a collie, or is a, the puppy of Dash, my border collie. <laughs> But uh, in a part of this, no, I would say like people is really loving the breed, and you know they are quite funny thing. Yeah. And yeah. when it comes to the dog world, I would uh, I have found many people that it's like, oh my god, this is a Sheltie. I can't move. They are gonna be scared. Mm. And then it's like, Ru is looking at me like, what the fuck is going there? Mm. Why is he acting so weird? Mm. And it's like, they are not so, they are not soft dogs. They don't need to be like, oh my God, I can pet it. You can pet the dog. You can, I mean, and I had this many times. So they are quite, uh, I would say they are really normal dogs. Yeah. They are not yeah. like, some of them, they aren't loving to exchange people, but uh, they are not scared about them. Yeah. Okay. And are there five words that you could uh, use to describe the breed? Okay. First of all, I would say amazing, <laughs> because for me, it's like the best breed in the world. Um, I really like the power of a Sheltie. I really enjoy when I see uh, a Sheltie running. Yeah. Um, I would say, of course, loud. We can't forget about this one because it's still there and it will always be. Um, I would say that they are quite demanding. Uh, all of them are very demanding. You saw that 
the time was uh, now she's resting. Yeah. She was <laughs> most of the time asking me like pet me now, mm-hmm. pet me now. And B is not annoying at the moment because she's just there eating. <laughs> but they are they are quite uh, demanding. Um yes, if you have a few then you don't have enough hands. Um uh, but the good thing is they are they aren't very jealous dogs. Okay. That's so right. they don't get jealous of the other one. Mm-hmm. And I would say that they are very sweet and kind also mm-hmm. because they they are a kind breed. Yeah. Uh, they are not looking for troubles. They are um, uh, very hormone dogs. They are quite easy in all the ways, I would say. Mm-hmm. For who would you recommend getting a Shetland Sheepdog? Would you say it's a good first time breed for somebody who never had a dog? Very active people um, because... Um, is what I said before. If you are expecting that they are going to be lying on the sofa all day, this is not going to happen. Um, I guess if this happens, they are going to start barking and breaking stuff. Mm-hmm. And mm-hmm. Uh, I think I wouldn't say that it's a breed for for a beginning. Okay. I okay. think uh, I would recommend more for experienced uh, people. Okay. What different colors do they come in and do you have a preference? Okay, so there's five colors in Sheldon's. There's the sable, then the tree color, then the blue mark, and then you have B blue and B black. Honestly, I really like B blue and also B black. They are my favorite ones. Like, how would you say that they go with the very hot weather? Would you say that your Shelties have adapted their coat to like your climate? Yeah, uh, I'm. I get also really shocked when people in Norway or. Sweden told me that they are shaving the shelties because they are too hot. Yeah. And it's like, yeah. yeah, but we live here and my dogs are completely fun. Ru still, Ru and time still sleep in our bed. Yeah. And Ru likes to be like under the bed. <laughs> so um, I would say my shelties doesn't have a lot of fur, but um, they they get really good yeah. with the weather. I don't think, um, I don't think they, they have problems to be here or whatever. Yeah, yeah I, I always ask to the people, like, don't shave my puppies, please. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> because I would die, like, yeah. please don't do it. Yeah. And I was like, a few times I was tempted to put it on the contract even. Yeah. <laughs> you breed this dog breed, right? Yeah. Yes. So tell me a little bit about that. Okay, so my kennel is called Out Canada. is um, here in Mallorca, as I said. Uh, we are a very small kennel. We don't have um, many litters. Um, it's a bit tricky because uh, when you get requests, it's a bit uh, difficult because, you know, you breed a bit for you and then for the people that you more know. So our main focus would be health. Uh, after that, I would say, like, the character. We really want to have uh, big personalities, a strong character that are willing to please. Um we would like that our puppies are uh, are working because they have quite high needs. And, but also, we really like people who are looking for the best friend, like a family member forever. <laughs> <laughs> and I, as you can see, they, they really need a lot of attention. So we really want people that it's... Um, has a lot of time for them, like, uh, and also energy and um, wanting to do things with them, not only, you know, being at home and do little walks. Yes. I'm... <laughs> do you sell to anyone or is there any other criteria that you have on your puppy buyers? Um, I had had a few questions from a little bit too far, like out of Europe, and I was a bit uh, concerned. But I'm not saying I'm not going to sell out of uh, Europe. It's just like we are not sending puppies. So everyone has to come here to pick it up. We need to meet the person. We, I, I really choose the people. We really choose the people a lot by heart. Mm. Uh, I really need to feel, of course, I can be wrong. Yeah. But I really need to yeah. feel like this person is going to love this, this dog forever. Mm. And also, I really like that they had a little bit of experience with the breed, or at least a lot of willing to, to learn from it, because I think um, it's also important. But yeah, I really need to feel like this is the right home. I'm doing the right thing. 
And so, why did you choose to read specifically Shelties? Honestly, on the beginning, I had been always loving uh, the braiding stuff, uh, and I have been a lot of time just looking. I really enjoy, you know, and I think I'm a nerd about it, enjoy to check all the pedigrees, all the health issues, like noting everything. I had like a million notebooks <laughs> with um, a lot of information to everything. But um, honestly, I started breeding for myself. Uh, I tried to find uh, Shelty on the beginning, another one for me. And uh, I didn't find what I was looking for. And I thought, okay, so if I can't find what I'm looking for, I'm going to breed it myself. I had the most amazing dog in the world because for me, Rue is and will be forever my once in a lifetime dog. Yeah. She yeah. is um, she's my soulmate. Um, so I knew that for me it was the perfect dog and I just wanted another, another. my idea on the first litter was another Rupert in black. Mm -hmm. um, I quite got it. She's a little bit smaller and she has a really different personality. She's like, very obsessed with working. She's very, as you can see now, she's quite, um, she's quite chill. Mm -hmm. But she was the first two years, she was just like a tornado. <laughs> it was, we just came back from training and she still wanted more and more and more. And now she's quite chill. <laughs> I, for, I forgot to say it, but um, one another thing what uh, made me wanted uh, Shelty was um, that with my border collie. Of course, I found Rue and she was like my dream dog. But um, the idea of getting her, it was a lot. And I decided the name of Rue and it was always, always by my side because I really wanted her always by my side. And uh, we live in Iceland, so it's not so easy to travel everywhere um if you are going to somewhere it's always quite annoying yeah and uh so or you have to take a boat or you have to put them in cargo yeah. so um i thought shelty could be fun because then i can put uh i can put him or her in the cage yeah like with me yeah and uh, it was uh, something that I think is very positive. Um, I would say compared to maybe Border Collies, that they are quite similar breed. Yeah. Um, compared to them, the quite uh, cool stuff is everything is little with them. Yeah. Even that they are big dog personality, they are a small dog. Yeah. And it's really easy with food. They eat so little yeah. with, you know, everything that you have to buy is uh, very small. Yeah. And uh, if you are willing to fly, it's very important. Yeah. But also if you are thinking about flying and you think about getting a shelter, I think it's very important to, to learn a lot before because I know many people that wanted uh, a dog for flying. Yeah. And then they got a too big shelter. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> And also it's very important to get an honest breeder because yeah. sometimes people is really willing to sell. Just learn a lot and study a lot and ask always for the height yeah. and the weight. And always from the beginning, check the weight of all the litter, not only the puppy that you are thinking of having. Yeah. And yeah. also if you can find like relative uh, weight, because this is a lot on the lines. Some yeah. dogs start stop growing at six months some lines stop growing at nine months and some lines start growing at 15 months yeah so okay. it's like i think we will be small but till she's done with uh, growing i don't know because yeah. she can keep growing you know yeah is there anything you're actively trying to improve in the breed with your breeding program yeah i would say i would uh, really i would like to improve the health I'm really focused on that part. Uh, I would really, I would really like um, to have the possibility of uh, have a study of everything, to know all the lines, all the stuff, so you can try to breed as healthy as you can. Um, of course, this is not something that you can control 100%, but I would like to feel that as much as I can, yeah. I did my best, so I really tried. 
Second, I would say, as I think I already said, like the character, mm -hmm. I think mm -hmm. um, people tend to think that Chelsea's are soft and they are not. Uh, if you just let them grow and be dogs, um, and I would really to improve, I would really like to improve this part also. I like big personalities, cheeky Chelsea's, bossy Chelsea's. You know, when dogs start, they are demanding, they want to work and all this stuff. And for me, this this is very important. Of course, I like um, pretty Shelties, of course. And I think my dogs are pretty, but uh, I think this is more part of opinion of the mind. Yeah. But what I really would like to improve on the breed would be the health and the character. And maybe also the eager to work that they really want to do to work and we focus so much when we have puppies yeah we have focused yeah. so much in all these points to have them as healthy as they can be so the, also we try to you know uh support them improve all the you know bossy character barking also we we let them bark we let them be how they want to be yeah and we want them to be like the bigger dog that they want to become. And if you can choose a breed to compare the Shelties to, what would be a good comparison? Oof, I think there's not any other dogs like Shelties, honestly. Um, they are, if you are talking about working, you can compare it a bit with Gordon Collies. Uh, but of course, they have uh, different stuff. Uh, Border Collies have their own thing. And then Shelties are could be a bit similar in, in character when they come to work compared to the other breeds, but still not so much as for the collies. Okay. And um, also it's so different, the size thing. And I think border collie could be the only dog I could compare a bit, but still so different. And if this breed was another animal, what would they be? Honestly, I, I, I thought about it, but I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, the only dog that I don't see, like uh, Sheltie, is a uh, beaver. That I always say is like quite of a monkey <laughs> because uh, she knows how to use the arms and the fingers. And she can just grab you like this and it's very monkey. How much grooming does the breed need? Would you say you need to brush them very often? I'm really lazy about this. Yeah. Uh, we brush them... I would say maybe once a week. Uh, but everyone, when they see the dogs, they are like, oh my God, these dogs need so much grooming. And it's like, no. It's like, it's such an easy breed in every in every aspect, in my opinion. But when it comes to hair, um, they are like uh, border collies. They are made for working. So when they get the dirty, they clean themselves uh, when they get dry. Yeah. So the, the yeah. stuff doesn't stick on the hair or whatever. But also, my dogs are not very hairy, mm. so they are not very fluffy or whatever. So I don't know if maybe Super Show Sheltie could be different. Mm -hmm. And my bo my Shelties are jumping in the swimming pool all day. I don't take a lot of care of the hair, honestly. <laughs> I should take care a little bit more than I do. Okay. Is there maybe a fun fact about this breed? I really find super fun how bossy they are. <laughs> and I really think it's super, super cute and fun. Because yeah. they are, it's like they really are bossy. And they really tell you what they want. And they tell you that you are wrong many times. Yeah. Like if you are wrong in agility, they tell you like late, wrong, wrong here, wrong there. And I really enjoy this part that... It's like more a, like a friendship more than having a dog. How is it in general owning a Sheltie? Okay, so owning a Sheltie, I would say it's uh, fun. It's easy. They are they are dogs that they they live for you. They trust you in everything. They really really trust you. Even that, it's like um, yeah, she knows. And they go ahead for you. So I really think this is something that touched my hair, that they really think that you are doing the best for them. Yeah. Um, I really like um, the personality that they have. Yeah. They are really sweet, fun, 
and they are ready for you in every situation then that is all i want to thank you so much for being a part of this video and answering all my questions please like plug yourself where can we find you on social media in our can find us uh in our canada shelties we have a uh, recently added a website that you can also visit www.canada.es okay okay well that is everything then thank you so much <laughs> thank you. Thank you.